What is up guys? Oh, did that- what, what's up guys? <laughs> it's Monkey Bacon here for Stock Monkey Development. And I'm recording this right after the last tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be adding bullets and potentially, if we get there, enemies to our game. So let's get started right away. Um, if you haven't seen the first one of these, go ahead and watch it because this may not make too much sense. So we're going to make a new uh, bullet.lo folder. Okay, and let's make it a table real quick, an array, and a spawning function. Bullets.spawn. So there are going to be three arguments we're going to need for the spawning function. We're going to need an x, a y, and a direction. So just put dir for that. And the direction will actually be a string, and I'll explain more about that in a sec. So every time you spawn it, you want it to insert all this data into the table bullet. And then you'll set x to x, y to y, and dir to dir. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to need for bullets individually. But we could set the bullet width to, let's set it to 5. Yeah, let's set it to 5. Set the bullet height to 5 as well. And the bullet speed, uh, what do we set it to in the live stream? Set it to like 500. Let's try that. Um, cool. So... The direction is going to be a string, so every time you spawn a bullet, you use this function. So, like, if you push up on the key, on if you push the up arrow key, right, you, this would be executed. And you'd set the x to, like, player.x plus whatever, and then the y to player.y plus whatever, because I'm totally spelling it right. And then the dir. Since you push the up arrow key, you'd set it to up, because you would want the bullet to be moving up. And then we can use that direction to correlate with the movement of the bullet. Uh, so, yeah. This will all make sense in a second. So let's start out with the parent functions. And I'm going to put those into main.lua. And again, as I say, every time I do this, you guys do not need to do parent functions. You, you can just drop them right into main.lua. It's totally a preference thing. Code how you want to code, even though this is kind of a coding tutorial. so. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so first thing we should do is draw the bullet, for sure, as we do with every file that we make, every new file. So let's access, access the bullets with uh, iPairs. Bullet do. So now that we're inside of the bullet table, we can apply different things to each individual bullet. So let's start out with setting the color to... Let's set it to uh, blue. And then we'll draw a rectangle at the x and y coordinates of the bullet. And the width will be the bullet width, and the height will be the bullet height. Um, so as you can see, we're using a glo like kind of more of a global. I guess you could. It's not really global, but or public, however you want to say that. But kind of in a sense, it's a broader way of stating the width of a bullet. And these are very individual ways, because we're using v.x and v.y to state the y, x, and y positions of the bullet. That's because these are going to be the same throughout all bullets, and these are going to be in the same... Only, th those are going to be completely different for every single bullet. Uh, so that's how you know when to set certain things as just general variables, kind of like bullet dot whatever, instead of putting them into the spawning function and making them very individualized uh, variables. So let's put bullet.draw into the draw function and then we'll start out, the next thing we'll do is move them. So bullet.move. So this is where we use the direction variable. So let's access the, the bullet table. Okay, so let's start with if you, uh, before we do this actually, just so this makes a little more sense, let's make a shooting function inside of player.lua. So this, so that the player can actually spawn bullets. So let's make a new function at the bottom below player.move called player.shoot. And we, the only argument we need is key. Uh, yeah, I think so. Because I guess we'll just tap the arrow keys for now. So, yeah. Let's start out with the up arrow key. So if key equals up, then. We're going to use the spawn function that we made, which is bullet.spawn. And the x is going to be at player.x plus player.width divided by 2 minus bullet.width divided by 2. This will spawn the bullet on the x. Horizontally, it will be in the middle of the player. 
completely perfectly in the middle of the pack. So let's do the y function or the y position for it next. It's gonna be player dot y minus bullet dot height, and that'll spike just spawn it just above the player. And then the direction, which is up. And let's do the same with down. Bullet dot spawn, same x position, different y position, but I'll just, co I'll just copy the whole function, and then we can just replace stuff. So if you if you hit down the down arrow key, x is the same, y is going to be player dot y. Let's delete all of it. Player dot y plus player dot height. So I'll spawn it just below the bottom of the player, and then let's do left and right. So let's we'll start with the left. If t equals left, then bullet dot spawn player dot x minus bullet dot width. Player dot y plus player dot height divided by two minus bullet dot height divided by two. That will spawn it just to the left and in the middle. Uh, just to the left of the player and in the middle vertically. And then the direction is obviously going to be left. So then one more with the right, and then we shall be done. And we'll just need to place this into main dollar. So if key equals right, I just copy and paste that by the way. Key equals right. X is going to be the, X is going to be different. X is going to be player.x plus player.width. And the y is going to be the same, and we're going to need to change this to right. Oh, we didn't change the direction. So the for the down, if key equals down, make sure you change the direction to down, because I did not do that. So this should spawn all the bullets in their correct sp places uh, when you push all these keys. So let's drop player.shoot. It is a key pressed function. So we need to set up the love.keypressed function inside of main.lua. So I usually put this in, I put all these extra not functions that you might not always use inside of main.lua in between love.load and love.update but again that's totally preference you can put you can put this function wherever you want inside of here uh, key play dot shoot so now every time you push a key the way this works is every time you push a key it's going to run through everything you have here like if you have if you had like a million more functions it would run through all those functions every time you press any key so you press a key and then it would test if it if you pushed up and then if you did it would spawn a bullet or if you didn't it would go to the next one <laughs> and then yeah uh, so now that you see how we use the direction in more of a visual way let's apply the direction so if v dir I'm in bullet dalua in the bullet move function that we kind of made so if v dir equals up then so if we spawn a bullet that has the direction up then we're gonna subtract the y And then we're going to do the same with down. I'm not, oh, this is getting pretty long. We may not have time for enemies in this tutorial. I'm getting pretty specific with these. If you guys want me to just kind of hurry up and get a little more broad with everything I do, I could totally do that. But again, I mean, the people who watch this are going to have a range of different, uh, like, abilities with love to do. So now I've just set it up so that it moves in the direction that it's said to. So if it's supposed to move up, it'll move up. If it's supposed to move down, down. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so let's put bullet.move into our update bullet function. Okay, so it should work now, hopefully. Probably not, but we're going to try. <laughs> so after enemies... I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. We could do power-ups, I guess. But you guys are going to need to give me some input. Figure out what else we could add to the game. Just a top-down shooter. Stalling until love can run the game. I'm using Sublime Text too, by the way. And it, if you go into the forums, there's a way you can do it so it has a build function for love. So you don't even have to compile all the other files. You can just do Command B. It's pretty sweet takes a lot of time out of the developing process. And we have, oh, we didn't require a bullet. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. Require a bullet. Okay, let's try one more time. And again, if you guys have any specific tutorial ideas, yeah, just suggest it. Add me on Skype, Monkey Bacon. 
If something doesn't work, you just always ask me on there. Or leave a comment. I'll try. It's kind of harder for me to figure stuff out through comments because you can't really send me the file. It's a lot easier if you guys send me the file. Okay, let's shoot. Oh, it works. Sweet. Perfect. So, this has been a tutorial on bullets. Again, I hope this helped you out a lot. Um, I think you might have learned some new stuff, even if you are pretty experienced. Maybe like one or two things. But, after enemies, I'm pretty sure we're going to start getting into some more advanced stuff, so keep an eye out for that. I'll probably be recording these daily, considering I have a lot of time now. Um, yeah. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for this little top-down shooter, just tell me. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.